What's happening, Magnusites? So, I was, uh, I'm on my way to work, right? And I'm just, I was listening to this, um, wrestling channel on, uh, YouTube. And, uh, he was, in, well, he said something real, uh, you know, important. He, he, he was talking about Sting's debut, um, at Survivor Series. And, um, you know, he was really excited and he was talking about how he was like, oh my God. If only Jim Ross was commentating this. And you know, I started to think, I said, you know what? Jim Ross has made so many WrestleMania moments, so many Monday Night Raw moments, so many other different pay-per-view moments, just that much more memorable. And, you know, like, Michael Cole fucking sucks, as far as I'm concerned. I don't know him personally, but the character, whoever he is, he sucks. And... You know what I liken it to? <clears throat> Michael Cole, comment, his commentary on a good, a great wrestling match is like wa watching a bad bitch cross the street in sweatpants. The match is the bad bitch. The sweatpants is Michael Cole. When you see her cross the street, you're like, damn, she got a fan. Oh my God, she look good. Mm. But Jim Ross commentating, calling a match, is like watching a bad bitch cross the street, and she's got on her high heels and her tightest jeans, and you're like, oh my God, by God, look at her. You gonna remember that a lot more than you're gonna remember her in her sweatpants. And that's what I'm talking about, okay? I try to always give y'all some metaphors, metaphors, analogies, and examples, and all that other stuff in terms that most of y'all can understand since like 80 to 90% of my followers are men. You understand that? Okay, Michael Cole sweatpants, Jim Ross high heels, and tight ass jeans. You understand? WWE, you need to bring back Jim Ross. Peace set up. It was bullshit when you fired him about that Ric Flair shit anyway. Bring back Jim Ross, man. If he was, oh my God, could y'all imagine if Jim Ross was calling the heavyweight championship match at the Royal Rumble? <laughs> oh my God. He is the greatest ever. There are a few people that could have called it very well also. Um, this Vince McMahon is actually one of my favorite um, announcers of all time, along with Bobby the Brain, Gorilla Monsoon, Jesse the Body. You know, there's just certain guys that when they call it, they make you excited or they make you laugh, they make you smile. Tony Schiavone, um, you know what I mean? It's just certain guys that really make the match that much better, okay? So... You know, they're just like narrators to a great story. You know, when you've got a guy with a that with a voice that's weak or a voice without much charisma or personality, it doesn't work. That's why you hear James Earl Jones narrating certain things. That's why you hear Oprah Winfrey narrating certain things. That's why you hear uh, more Morgan Freeman. Hello, I'm Morgan Freeman, and this is the Jackalope. The jackalope is a mix between the antelope and the jackrabbit. You know what I mean? He has personality to his voice. And when they announce, when they narrate, it just makes it that much more pleasant, that much more comedic, that much more exciting to watch. I had to do this video. Bring back Jim Ross movement. Hashtag bring back Jim Ross. Hashtag bring back Jim Ross. Okay, I don't like to kick another man out of his job. Michael Cole can sit next to him. He can still commentate, but you know, that's it. All right, I'm done. One, one million subscribers, hit the like button right now. Woo!